How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Ashby Tapes and welcome to another list video. Today we're going to be going over the top five spring fragrances for men here in 2020. So if you are interested, stay tuned. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We start off all of my fragrance videos with the sneaker of the day because fashion is one of my passions. I'm a poet, didn't even know it. And my sneaker of the day is the New Balance 998 made in America's in this awesome, awesome summer colorway. I love this shoe, super comfy. A lot of people sleep on New Balances. They are awesome, amazing suede quality, made in America, and just a cool sneaker, the perfect shape of a runner. This is how a runner should look. So, sneaker of the day, let's jump right into the list. So coming in at the number five spot on the list is a fragrance that was really slept on and hated on when it first came out, and that is E. Saint Laurent's Loam all team man i've got the 200 milliliter bottle of this for a reason this is my dumb reach springtime fragrance i am in love with this fragrance second bottle i didn't have a 200 ml to start off with this thing is awesome let me tell you some of the notes some of the notes in e saint laurent's loam all team is in the top you have grapefruit ginger cardamom and bergamot in the mid you have rose sage geranium and apple and in the base you have cedar vetiver and cashmere woods this fragrance is a perfect kind of spicy, aromatic, woody fragrance. It is has this rose note that kind of soothes it out a little bit, but no, it is not feminine in one bit. It is super, super minute rose, so don't get it twisted. This is a perfect transition, transitional fragrance for those mediocre spring days, about 50 and sunny, and it is awesome. It's got that spice like a winter fragrance would with that ginger in there, but it's juicy and fresh with the apple, and it has those floral undertones that just make this awesome. I don't really get a lot of the woods from this if I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all, but it is a good fragrance. Performance-wise, you're going to get about five to six hours out of it, so don't expect a lot from it. Um, but for me, this is my dumb reach fragrance, and if I ever can't decide, I'll just end up choosing this one. So number five on the list, we have Loam by E. Saint Laurent's Ultime. Coming in at the number four spot on my list is another E. Saint Laurent fragrance. And this is my perfect spring fragrance, in my opinion. And that is E. Saint Laurent's Y Eau de Parfum. This fragrance is awesome. I have used about this much of this 100 milliliter bottle and I have a lot of fragrances, so that says something. This fragrance in the spring is just fantastic. It's a little dark and fresh at the same time. So here are the notes. The notes in E. Saint Laurent's Y Eau de Parfum, in the top you have bergamot, ginger, and apple. In the base you have juniper, sage, and geranium. And in the base you have cedar, olibanum, tonka bean, and amber wood. Why is this fragrance good for the spring? This is my night out spring fragrance. If I ever go out for a night out with some friends or go to a party, this is usually the fragrance I'll be wearing in the springtime because it's fresh, it's tart, and it still has this grounded tonka bean base that you could wear this in the winter. A lot of people do wear this in the winter. I find this to be a good work scent for my line of work, and I just love this fragrance. Again, it's dark and crisp and warm at the same time so it's going to check all those boxes for that springtime wear performance wise i get about eight to nine hours out of this on my skin this thing performs fabulous on me for designer fragrance and i cannot complain about this fragrance at all my awesome night out springtime fragrance next one on the list is a perfect bottled fragrance by that i mean the bottle on this fragrance is literally a perfect fragrance bottle it's super unique super cool and i'm in love with it but the fragrance profile itself is awesome and that is armani Privé's blue turquoise amazing amazing fragrance let's just hop right into the notes some of the notes in armani Privé's blue turquoise in the top you have incense salt black pepper in the mid you have a gorgeous ylang ylang note Cipro and Indian Jasmine, and in the base you have vanilla, sandalwood, and moss. Now, this fragrance, if I could explain it to you, it is refined freshness. That ylang ylang with the salt and the black pepper and that incense in the top, it's fresh but powerful, yet deep and sophisticated. And the sandalwood and the moss in the base gives it this earthiness that I'm in love with. This is an awesome fragrance. If I ever go to an event in the spring, this is the fragrance I'll be wearing, but you do have to be careful with the sprays. I do about two sprays of these, and this lasts for about 12 hours on my skin. This fragrance is beast mode. I love this fragrance. Check it out. I found this one. I 
pretty much stole it. I got this for like a hundred bucks. It retails for like 310 and it's hard to find discounted, but check out your discounters, check out eBay, make sure the seller's good. Check this one out. Perfect springtime refined fragrance. The Ylang Ylang note is beautiful. So at the number three spot, we have Armani Privé's Blue Turquoise. Coming in at the number two spot is my favorite designer fragrance ever. Yes, I said favorite designer fragrance ever. It is amazing for the springtime and I will tell you why. Number two spot goes to Chanel's Allure Homme Sport Edition Blanche. This fragrance, yes, this is the big, I think it's the five ounce, five ounce bottle because I love this fragrance so much. I wear it so frequently, I wear it year round, but I truly love this fragrance. This is a good layering fragrance too if you have darker fragrances. But this fragrance for the spring is going to be perfect. It's kind of vanillic, it's, it's gorgeous. Let me just read you some of the notes. So the notes in Chanel Allure Homme Sport, or Allure Homme Edition Blanche, in the top you have bergamot and lemon. In the mid you have quote unquote woody notes and sandalwood. And in the base you have vetiver and vanilla. This fragrance, people compare it to a lemon meringue pie. I get it, I don't get it at the same time. What I get from this fragrance is this gorgeous, lemony, fresh, clean top. And in the base, there's some woods kind of to gather the fragrance together and hold it nice and tight. And then down below that is that vanilla and vetiver. And that vetiver for a little bit of masculinity, but that vanilla and lemon are the stars. This is a creamy fragrance. I love this fragrance. It's still a gourmand almost, but it's also aromatic at the same time. And that's what makes this a perfect spring fragrance in my opinion. Because you have both aspects of a gourmand fragrance and a aromatic fragrance, that's why this one does what it does. So at the number two spot, my favorite designer fragrance of all time, and that is Chanel's Allure Orme Sport Edition Blanche. Oh, performance on this, I get about seven to eight hours. It's good, it does become a skin scent after the fifth hour. Still a great fragrance. Let's go on to the number one spot. The number one spot is held by a niche fragrance that is cheaper retail than all of these fragrances that I've showed you. All these fragrances before were designer, the Armani Privé is questionably designer. That is Armani's Privé line, so their private line. So it's kind of niche, kind of designer. It's just like Tom Ford's private line. But this is a true niche fragrance, and it is the cheapest retail. You can also find this for about 40 bucks on, I think, like Max Aroma and eBay. And it is one of my favorite fragrances, and it stars the note Fig. And the fragrance is Fig by Molinard. And uh, Figue. Um, this is an Audi Parfum Concentration, and I love this fragrance for the spring and summer. This will definitely be on my summer list, so expect it there. Let me tell you some of the notes. Some of the notes in Molinard Figuet. In the top, you have lemon, juniper berries, and fig. In the mid, you have green leaves, jasmine, and florals. And in the base, you have amberwood, cedar, and musk. Why do I love this fragrance so much for the spring? Fig is such an interesting note because it's green, it's sweet, and it's fruity at the same time, but it's fresh. And that's why I love this fragrance. It, it, I pretty much just explained the fragrance to you. It's green, it's juicy in the earthiest way possible. Those green leaves really remind me of fig leaves too. It is just an awesome fragrance. It's a little dirty, a little earthy in the base, but that fig note really shines throughout the whole life of the fragrance. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, fragrance for the springtime. I love this one. The fig again is awesome. Check it out. Performance wise, I get about eight hours out of this one. And those last, uh, those six through eight hour mark is a skin scent, but it is a super lovely skin scent. This is super inoffensive and super cheap. Check it out. A niche fragrance for like 40 bucks and it is a great springtime fragrance. And that's why it's number one on my list. And I'll be wearing this a, a ton during the springtime here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing. My name is Brent Fiore, and we do a channel here based on fashion, fragrance, and men's wellness. So if you're new here, consider subscribe. Hit the like button if you found this video informative and or fun to watch. I really do appreciate you guys. If you want to support me even more, check my link down to my Patreon down below and support me there. Otherwise, guys, have a lovely rest of your day. Let me know what your fragrance you wore today is down in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one.